Hi, and welcome back to The Thriftier Person. Did you know in the year 2011, 232,000 people were defrauded of the IRS tax refund? In the year 2013, that number jumped to 642,000 people that were defrauded of their tax refund. So, how do you avoid that? Well, number one, you can just simply go to your employer, ask for the W-4 form, which you can specify how many deductions or exemptions you want so that you pay less taxes to the IRS. We've adjusted ours so that, you know, we get back maybe 20 or $30, and the rest of it we get in the paychecks every week. I'd rather have money to spend every week on the things that I need and investments and savings than I'd rather have Uncle Sam hold it for 365 tentative days with no interest or nothing, and then have to wait to get it back, get it back a big lump sum, and everybody knows that you spend it on foolish stuff. And after your tax return is gone, you look in the mirror and you say, what the hell did I do with that money? So go to your employer, get a W-4 form. Uh, you can increase your, uh, your exemptions or your dependents on that form as many as you'd like. And that makes your check obviously bigger because there's less taxes coming out. You have to indicate one for state and one for federal, perhaps one for local if that should apply to you. So you do that. But when you file your tax form, you can only claim the actual number of exemptions you are allowed. Such as for myself, I can claim one. For a friend of mine, she can claim herself, her husband, and her children, but yet she claims five on her W-4 form so that she can have more money in her paycheck. The other reason for that as well, which I may have mentioned, but I'm going to go over because it's so important, the less money you have sitting in the IRS waiting to be claimed as a refund check, the less likely it is uh, that you're going to get defrauded for a large amount of money. If your refund is $20 and someone files your, your tax return illegally, they're going to get $20. Imagine if that was $3,000. And who is going to file your taxes if you have a $2,000 or a $200 or even a $10 tax payment that you have to pay the IRS? Nobody's going to want to, to file your taxes. So that's what you you need to know. Be smart, be safe, get that W-4, make those changes, file your exemptions legally on your 1040 or 1040 easy, and that's what you need to know. Take care, be good, and we'll talk again soon. Ciao.